Talk a warning tonight from a school superintendent about rising COVID cases on campus. He says what's happening to them can happen anywhere. The Littleton Elementary School District is in Avondale and it's going all out to protect students and staff. As Jason Berry found out, it's still not enough to stop the spread. It hasn't taken long for Valley schools to see a spike in COVID cases, and this school district in Avondale is a perfect example, with hundreds of kids quarantined in the first 10 days. Going back to school has been a whole new experience for students, parents, teachers, and staff, especially in the Littleton Elementary School District in Avondale, where 18 classes have been quarantined since school started last week. It kind of makes you think about it, wonder if they're safe or not, because, you know, with this new uh, strain of COVID, they are hitting children more now. So it's definitely something that I think hits parents more. Um, because the, the other COVID wasn't really hitting children too often. There's some confusion. Littleton Superintendent Dr. Roger Freeman insists they're doing all they can when it comes to health and safety. But the reality is mask mandates are against the law. Vaccination rates in the West Valley are down around 40 percent. And a lot of parents are sending their kids to class when they're not feeling well. I think the unique thing about the West Valley is our metrics. Our, um, our percent positivity rose to 27% in the last few weeks. That was higher than it was during the peak. It's true with any security problem. Most of the security issues we have and safety issues aren't because of our facility design. It's because some person didn't follow expectations or training. Freeman is convinced unless there's more compliance with the COVID safety measures they have, more kids will get sick in his district and others across the valley. The superintendent believes school districts should have the final say on the best way to protect students using state and county health guidelines. There's a lot of kids online last year. Nancy Light wants her third grader to be at school, but with so many COVID cases, she's seriously considering going back online. What do you think you'll do? At this point, I have no idea. I don't know. I got to do whatever is best for my daughter physically and mentally healthy. With the rising numbers? Yeah, with the rising numbers, it definitely, definitely weighs on my mind. So I'm going to, it's something I'm going to have to get with my husband with and talk and decide. School officials are hoping more parents will see that COVID numbers are climbing and decide to take more precautions, which includes keeping their kids home when they're not feeling well and sending them to school wearing a mask. In the West Valley, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.